I'm lost. Lost in the land of dreams. What happens when I dream? Who's in there tinkering with my too sensitive soul? Shakespeare was right. Who needs dreaming or sleep when dreams tear apart my psyche in the name of what? Rebuilding? <laughs> Perhaps I am a miner digging for diamonds among the gray matter of random mental images, hoping to bring up jewels of wisdom to the light of day. I hope the cave doesn't collapse while I'm in there dream working. I, I hope the foreman stays awake. Mostly, I hope I don't just come up with fool's gold. Ah, oh, yes, to sleep perchance to dream, to dream, to sleep no more. Good night, Will. <laughs> screams in a dream. My soul screams out and tries to save my mother from herself. But like screams in a dream, she cannot hear my warning, and I'm helpless to help someone who may not even want my help. Like those little lost kittens, abandoned by the side of the road, crying with hunger and fear, but hissing at me when I turn back to help them. I, I knew I could help them, so I grabbed them up and took them home. And three days later, my dog ate them. <laughs> screams in a dream. Screams in a dream. No one can hear your screams in a dream. Waskar Inca. Waskar, gatekeeper of the underworld, guardian of my shadow self, not a devious evil being, but one who navigates my soul's darkness, bringing understanding on a visceral level, making my ego, my overprotective ego revolt and cry out a warning, some things are best left in the dark, you know. Yet Waskar visits my dream life, showing me unwanted memories, telling me I must come honor them, for sooner or later that shunned thing, that unspeakable incident, that bitter piece of me will fester and swell, erupting at last into my waking world, forcing me to behold it, to embrace it, to comfort it in all its pus-encrusted misery. <laughs> only then, only then, only then, intones Waskar, only then will the monster under your bed become your ally. Only then. <laughs> I can no longer, no longer ignore or deny my monsters. Decades of resistance, avoidance, ruined relationships, and endless talk therapy have brought me to exhaustion. So, hail Huascar, come, lead me on into that dark landscape of breaches of childhood trust, of shame and repressed anger, of crippling self-judgment. Help me unravel my psyche so that I may dance a weaving song with my grief and pain, thus to unfetter my divinity within. <laughs> the Judge. A mellow day spent aimlessly comes crashing in when the judge speaks up. Well, you didn't accomplish anything today. A steely voice sternly issues forth. From whence, I do not know. And this is jutting in and out, so I'm gonna let it sit there. Okay, baby, I will be cool. <laughs> well, I had heavy cramps 
Besides, I did all the shopping and I, and I got the Christmas stuff all put away. Another part of me guiltily protests. I'm engaged once more in my favorite pastime, emotional self-flagellation. <laughs> How can I judge or frown upon those who get pleasure from being a dominatrix or a submissive when I play both roles simultaneously within my own head every single day? <laughs> Girl. Keeping with our September theme, <laughs> this is um, an excerpt from a poem I wrote a few years ago. Uh, it's called Aftermath Musings from a Manhattan Pier, written September 15th, 2001, section three. Will things ever get back to normal? I hear a woman say. No, I think. A new day has erupted upon our national psyche. A little girl flies her kite while army choppers drone overhead. The smoke, while a wisp of its former self, still rises from downtown Manhattan, still rises. Images of crumbling towers and orange body bags never cease, even when I am not watching 24-hour news channels. I am immobilized with sorrow and helplessness and anger. Normal? Normal has been redefined. Yeah, that's... Thank you. Shadow boxing. Long denied resentments after years of being tamped down come screaming back into the daylight like a great black winged banshee. Hideous and unwanted emotional dross sears my psyche. How could I, sweet, caring, emotionally, spiritually evolving me, feel such seething animosity towards someone I love. Well, how dare she trigger ancient wounds by not caring for me the way I needed my father to love me. Wait, what? Wait, wh where did that come from? That's for Cocta. Wow. Well, now that this shadow story has geysered up, how shall I dispense with it? Can I steadfastly subdue it as if it were some hideous bridge troll, hoping that when faced down, it will allow me to pass, even offer up its treasure to me? Perhaps I must engage in mortal combat hmm? with this, my own murky specter, blasting it into a thousand tiny bits, huh? No, 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 that won't do, because then what if all those tiny little resentment shards grow roots and become a, a forest of dark, angry reeds? Oh, my God, now I am in a 1950s sci-fi movie. <laughs> Fantastic. Mine is constantly running amok, by turns frightening itself and then amusing itself, denying itself, and then overindulging. Here I am in the place of wit's end, having forgotten how I got here in the first place. Right, that's right. It was the uh, banshee of unexpressed resentments. <laughs> Maybe I'll just give it a hug and offer it some chocolate. <laughs> Thank you. Dream of Crocodile Woman. Last night I dreamed of Crocodile Woman. She came to me from the dark, mysterious mud wearing a pair of red high heels. The red shoes had the ability to make you fully yourself, fully alive. You, would not, you wouldn't have to worry about how your actions affected others. You would not be mean or cruel or evil, just completely free to do what you wanted. In the beginning, a giant crocodile chased my mother. Then we pulled it away and I befriended the beast. That's when she became the crocodile woman. Her home was being bulldozed by men in big trucks. I felt sad for her and apologized that there was nothing I could do. She was unruffled, accepting of her fate, and offered me her red high heels. I wanted them, but I, I felt that I had nothing to offer her in return. She said I could make love to her. I said that I too am a woman and I'm not sure how. <laughs> then she showed me her underbelly. She had a vagina and a penis. Crocodile woman was complete in and of herself. She did not need a mate. That is the gift she really offered me. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hawaiian punch. Joy. The Southern Baptist never taught me that God is joy. Christians exalt suffering. Ascetics, deprivation. The Buddhist, detachment. What's the point of being here if I'm always trying to get somewhere else? Sheer, lush cliffs of Kauai, monk seal sunning itself on the beach, humpback whales breaching the horizon, dolphins racing with our sailboat. These were not set in motion by an angry, jealous deity. Even the violent volcano destroys only to create anew. And if you would argue that there is no deity or any other life besides this one, well, all the better to enjoy it, my dear. Yeah. It's not all darkness in the darkness. <laughs> this is new dimension. Like a river that cannot be kept from its course. A surging wind that illuminates the mind's senses, the emergence of a child from its mother's womb. The creative force is there waiting for us to step out of ourselves and open up to the light. Openness too soul-piercing for the timid of heart, but to those who can brave their clamoring fears, a new dimension awaits to reemerge. A place fearsome and exhilarating, without boundaries, where joy awaits, trembling, dreading the possibility of non-existence. A new dimension, fierce, dark, consuming, for light and darkness coexist as one in the same breath of life. A new dimension of knowing, seeing, touching, loving. Open yourself and show others the way. Let the wind take you, the river overflow. Learn from its destruction as well as its nourishment. Fear not the thing you cannot escape. Let it sweep you away and rediscover love. Yeah, <laughs> all right. Yeah, but two minutes to end with a song. I'm going to end yeah, with a song. Yeah, this is a. Uh, kill it, man. Okay, I'm going to kill it with a song. This is Dragon Cena's song. Awaken, little one. Awaken to the sound of your own soul. You are beautiful. You are timeless. You are perfect. Embrace your imperfections. Rise and sing. Spread your wings. Take the leap and fly. Fly. Fly, little one, fly. Let your soul fly. To the heart of moon choose love choose life choose wonderment spread your wings spread your wings take the leap and fly 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 ancient ones fly heart of moon. Awaken. Awaken.